What up, everybody? Hey, it's me, Tyler. Welcome to the Baller Teacher Conference. Look at us. We're really doing it. We're really doing it, guys. This is real life. Guys, are you excited? Are you hyped? I am so excited. We are going digital this year on the conference. I have some of the best educators I know, not only speaking and giving their thoughts and resources, we got some of the best educators in the world right here in the chats, watching the vid right now, live or later. So what is the Baller Teacher Conference? What is it for? What does it all mean, Basil? Today, we want to empower you to lead the culture in your classroom, adjust to teaching in a digital world, and foster a creative environment where everybody, teachers, students, and administrators, feel like they are a part of the learning. You might be asking yourself, Tyler, what is a baller teacher? What does that even mean? Well, in the comments right now, I want you to tell me what you think makes a baller teacher. And if you're you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I don't know what baller means. What is a great teacher? What are the characteristics of teachers that you've admired throughout your life? Let me know right now in the comments. I can tell you what I think about it, but I would much rather you hear from a few of my friends. Take it away, guys. Growing up, my parents always taught me about respect and it's became one of my highest standards for literally anybody in life. And so to me, when it comes to, to what makes a baller teacher, what makes a good teacher, someone who, who shows the same respect that uh, they expect themselves to get. Um, I, I just expect, you know, just, I just want respect. That's, that's really all it is. And if you show me the same respect that you expect me to show you, like, I, you gonna be my favorite teacher. That's, that's just how it is. So what I think makes a baller teacher includes two things. So the first being compassion with those students. You don't know what their past is necessarily or their present. And that goes for home life, academics, peers, etc. So definitely what they have been through will 100% affect how they interact with their peers, with their coursework, and with you. Uh, secondly, I would say to be excited because they can totally feel it, they know it, all of that if you're not excited. And that goes about uh, being excited about teaching them specifically, uh, the coursework, that particular lesson, etc. So also teaching with your hands, I'm a big fan. Personally, my favorite teachers over the years were always the ones that had a sense of humor. So there's just something about laughing that makes you just breathe easy, you can absorb the material better, and I think it's just because you're not so stressed out. So that's just the power that laughter has, and I think, you know, let your students know that, hey, they're gonna learn, uh, you're gonna get the job done, but there's nothing wrong with uh, being funny and enjoying yourself along the way. So that's my tip. Hey, my name is Jarrett Bolden. I'm a senior at NLC College. And one thing that makes teachers really great, um, well, there's a lot of things that make them great, is but they're involved in our lives. They see us as more than a number, not just another paper to grade, but someone who's really invested into our lives, who loves us. And I've seen it over time that teachers who aren't as big with this, don't have a tendency to do as well as teachers who do. Um, but we just want you to love us, like educate us so we can become scholars. That is so important, but also go even beyond and have that relationship with us. We want to be a part of your life and we want you to be a part of ours. We're young and trying to figure it out. And so that's why we're coming to you with all of our questions, but you're going to do great and we love you. I think what makes someone a baller teacher is somebody who can take material that's not super interesting and make it relatable to the students so that they actually want to hear about it. I also uh, want to add my favorite teachers were always the ones that invested in me and invested in their students personally and took interest in what was going on in their life. So what makes a ball and teacher? A ball and teacher at their core is going to care. They're going to have a lot of determination. Uh, I think with both of those things kind of paired up, want to be better than they before and then caring about your students and the environment that you're in. Um, I think is at the very, very foundation of a ball and teacher. So we're all on different levels and, and we, we know our strengths and we've got different different things we do in our classrooms. But I think if you were to look at every ball and teacher out there, I think it would be one thing that they all have in common is that they care uh, about students, they care about the lessons they're putting out, they care about uh, you know the classroom environment, they want everyone or all their students to succeed. Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm an upcoming high school math teacher. The best way to be baller is to understand and communicate with your students every day and to love each and every one of them equally, no matter how they treat you. A baller teacher is someone who is nice, kind, and lets you do stuff that you want sometimes. 
but also a baller teacher is someone who teaches really well and obeys the rules of the principal. And a baller teacher is really nice, kind, and give yourself. You keep asking everybody to define baller, and I'm gonna need you to define if baller is a noun or an adjective, like, am I baller already, or am I trying to be more baller? I need answers first. I've taught 37 years, and I think a baller teacher is one that continues to learn and create a classroom atmosphere where all the kids feel comfortable asking questions. Uh, they know they're, that they're cared for and that their teacher, and they enjoy coming to that classroom and that the teacher cares and uh, so much for them. That is a baller teacher. Like classroom teacher? Like yeah. teacher, teacher, college teacher? Yeah, or any type of person who teaches people. Someone who's not just feeding me information, or feeding me information with relatable experiences, what they're talking about. See that? That's how it's done, Josh Rawls. Someone who's a baller teacher is someone who's willing to crumble up that lesson plan and hit that bucket from across the room. A baller teacher is someone that is really kind, respects the principal, and um, also teaches you things. She can also be a little, she can also, she can also, I think you're a really baller teacher if you're really personable. So like, if you tell us about yourself, if you let us tell you about ourselves, then it shows that you care. And also, if you make like a really clear layout of everything that's expected and all the deadlines way before, like way ahead of time, that's really great too, because you'll probably get more stuff turned in on time. I think first of all, if you chose to go into education at all anyway, you're here watching this you're already baller because you chose to serve students with your career and that's pretty baller but I think too I think staying true to yourself and keeping kids at the forefront of your motivation and your intentions is what makes a baller teacher. Joshua Harrison here from Conway Christian got about a minute to give my opinion on how you can become a baller teacher. First of all I think it begins and ends with you. We're all beautifully perfectly and creatively made. You have different strengths than the teacher next door. It's vital that you use those strengths to impact your students and your content. Michael Jordan said, I can accept failure. I just can't accept not trying. I think that's what's so important. Try new things. See what happens, see what works, see what reaches the students. It's okay to fail. If you fail, hey, let's just try again. Worst case scenario, throw you a sweet stash like this, you get a sweet place like this. Good luck and I hope you become a baller teacher. A baller teacher is smart and strict, but, but really appreciates when children are good. So basically being baller, which I think we've established as an adjective, means you work harder than everybody else and you like your kids. You, you just have to work hard every day and be nice to your students. I think that's a main two things. What can you expect today? Who is speaking? Who can I hear from? I'm going to start us off. I'm going to talk a little bit about culture. I've got my friend Josh coming in today. He's going to talk about innovation. Leanne, she's going to talk about authentic relationships. we got Lindsay coming in about the videos that you can create and your students can create in the class. you got your boy Ben, who's the Colorado version of me. He's going to talk about podcasts. But also, I'm about to tell you, this is the most important thing. If you ever get lost today, if a video ends, if we end a Q&A, if you don't know where to go next, go to tarveracademy.com slash baller. tarveracademy.com slash baller. You can click on any of those links at any time during that central time, and that will be whenever things are premiering live or we're having live Q&A. So go there at any point today to know where you should be. If you'll notice, after each of these sessions, while you're talking, commenting, we've got these people and myself in there, we're gonna be throwing in links. We're gonna be answering questions. Comment all day. The more you talk, the more you learn. The more you interact, the more you can gather from other educators. We want today to be full of not only tips and thoughts and inspiration, but also with resources. We want to give you links to the resources we talk about, so throw in anything you need or want into the comments. Also, fun fact, a lot of your administrators are on here making sure that you're actually here and not taking a nap while you have it play in the background, so you probably want to participate. After each session, 
that you watch on YouTube, we're gonna have a Q&A. We'll try to drop the link in the comments, but also go to tarveracademy.com slash baller, and we'll have a link to each of those Q&As. If there's a link that's not working, hit refresh, because we might be updating something based on whenever it's rolling out. So make sure you just hit refresh on the page anytime it's not loading up like you want it to or a link's not working, hit refresh. We're gonna be very clear and we're gonna communicate with you, with you. This is very clear communication, okay? That was my bad, I can't talk well. Southern accent and all. Today is going to be such an incredible day. I'm so excited and I know it's just the first one we've done like this and I would love to do more in the future. So your thoughts, your opinions, your interactions are gonna be so valuable for us in the future to keep making these, keep making them better. Today, this is a collaboration. This is done in partnership with Tarver Academy, that's my YouTube channel, as was up, where we're doing all of this and hosting all the videos, but also with the college that I work for, NLC College, at NLC College. It's a college in Conway, Arkansas, and I want to show you, I could tell you how much I love the school and everything I love about it, but I'd rather show you this quick video from some of our students about what they love about NLC College. I go to NLC College, and two things that I miss about it there are the people who I miss and I love very much, and the intramural sports, specifically volleyball. Okay, so if you don't know this, I go to NLC College, and my number one favorite thing about the school is the community. I've met some of my best friends there that I have for life, and my second favorite thing is serving at events with the school and putting on preview day. What's up, guys? You know, something I love about NLC College is all the free coffee and coffee mugs that they give you. <laughs> Hey guys, I just finished my first year at NLC College, and there's two things that I really, really miss. Uh, one being just the family aspect of the school, and two, chapel. I miss worshiping with my friends. What's up, everyone? I want to get on here real quick and tell you all about why my college, NLC College, is the best school ever for two reasons in particular. One, the community I've been able to be a part of, and two, the opportunities that have opened up for me since I've been going to school there. Y'all, I just finished my first year at NLC College, and it was absolutely incredible. I already miss our weekly leadership development classes and just getting to be up at the church all day, every day. Hello. I go to NLC College. I love it. Because... Okay, I do go to NLC College, but two things that I love about it is one, you're always held accountable, and two, everyone in the community pushes you to be the absolute best you can be. What's up, New Life Church and NLC College? Something that I love about my college that I go to is how we have a community of people who are all like-minded with the same goal, and they are how they've given me the tools to grow and develop myself as well as my business. Shameless plug. Guys, I just want to hop on here and talk about my school. Um, I'm sad that it's my last year at NLC College, but I'm thankful for everything that I've learned, like how to live life right and by the Bible. And, you know, definitely I love Dr. Q's jokes. I'm going to What is up, guys? So if you didn't know, I just finished my first year at New Life Church College. And by far, my favorite things about it are, one, the community of people that you're surrounded by. And two, all the free time you get to do the things you're passionate about and just to hang out with all of your best friends all the time. So one thing that I love about New Life College is that it didn't slow me down from doing what I wanted to do with my life, which was music. It actually supported me. New Life College feels less like a school and more like a family to me. Um, so yeah, that's one of the main things I love about the school. Hey guys, I'm here to share two fantastic things about NLC College. So one is felt the community that you get when you go to NLC College and then how caring the professors are about you and your grade. Hey, what up, everybody? I wanted to let you know a little bit about NLC College, the school I go to. I'm going to tag them here so you can go to their page. But one, if you're even thinking about going there, please sign up for housing. It's such an amazing experience. And two, the community there is like none other. They're all... Things I like about NLC College is Tyler Tarver, he's the best. And, and number two is that uh, it's affordable. So, because, you know, I'm going to be broke. And, uh, or I am broke. But that don't make me too broke. You feel me? Okay, hey guys, I go to NLC College, and the number one favorite thing I love about that school is the community. I made friends there that I have for life. I'm, I'm zooming in. Why?
Our students are seriously the best part of that school. The community is incredible. And if you want to learn more about NLC College, check out nlccollege.com or hit me up. I can guide you wherever you need to go. So guys, it's time to get started. It's time to kick it off. It's time to kick it off. Kick it off. We're about to get started. If you would, go to tarveracademy.com slash baller. The link is also in the description. Go there and click to start the first session. We're about to roll. Let's go. I don't know what that was, I'm sweating. You shouldn't wear long sleeve shirts in the summer. That's on me. That's on me, guys. 